Yo, yo. Mitch Pan Seco Tlok Deshpa. Mis saludos y respetos. Full play. Greetings to all my gente out there. Hopefully everyone's having a good day. Straight up, but my name is Manny. I'm the Jaguar man. Mucho gusto, man. Welcome to my channel, homeboy, homegirl, whatever it may be. Uh, this is a channel, man, where we uh, make homies, homegirls, never break. Every now and then, don't get me wrong, little coscorón, just so you get it, get it right, homie. Little act right. Cabrón. Hijo de la chingada, pues. Anyhow, just for the record, man. I don't know it all, homito, homegirl. Oh, every now and then, aquí, you know, I try to uh, lace up the homie, the homegirl. Ya sabes, we're just trying to look out for our people, you know, like that. Uh, maybe you could recommend it to a youngster or a, or a dinosaur, a homie, a homegirl, whatever it may be, man. Shit, just so you know, you got a righteous homie on the other side of the screen. Keep it a hundred right here. Nah, a hundred, a hundred's not really a lot nowadays. With inflation, let's say al million. We're gonna keep it a million, a million, homie. A million, million, million. A million, million, million. A million. We're, we're keeping it a million, homie, because, you know, a hundred bucks ain't shit nowadays. Right? Hey, so, come on, man. Get that face right, homie. Come on. We're right here. Come on. Right that way. Laugh. Come on. Snap out of that shit, dog. Don't let life put you down, cabron. Cabrona. Anyhow, today, homie, I'm gonna tell you a little, little story, dog. I call it stories and bodies, camarada. So we spend some la tira. Spend some the tear. Homie, are you ready? Just got a little flashback right now, homie. Just like my my uncle, man. Back in the days, motherfucker going to Vietnam. Fucking flashback. Little story. He'll be like, hey, mijo, Kylie, Kylie, check it out, homie. When I was back in Vietnam. And I go back and tell him my little, you know, stories in 40s. I feel like one of those motherfuckers that's like, damn. All this gray hair right here, ching out. Híjole, somebody told me about just for men, pero <laughs> I don't know, man. I mean, it is what it is. To me, it's like, man, a man's supposed to be ugly. A man's supposed to be rugged, tough. Que no? Bonito los puto. <laughs> oh, shit. Hey, con todo respeto, right? Con todo respeto, motherfuckers. Don't take it the wrong way. Come on, grow some werewolves. Anyhow, today we're going to talk about the LA County Jail. Once again, on board. But before we get into that, homeboy, you know the ritual essay. Don't forget to lean back, relax, kick up your feet, spark up your churrito, open up your pistol, and enjoy the show. Manny, why you always talk about LA County? Because that's where I've been, my boy. They say if you survive LA County Jail, you're most likely to survive anywhere else. I was there almost four years with me fighting three attempted murders. I picked up an in-house murder. And while I was there, man, life was fluctuating, homie, up and down. Straight roller coaster on board. I'm out here. I shouldn't be out here, trust me. The way things were going and looking. But hey, that's a whole different story, man. I got a story for you guys. I really do got a story in how I beat life. Going to trial, not guilty, verdict. But I'm saving that. I'm saving that for a good day. But today we're going to talk about switching round flies. Car hopping is what we call it. When you want to claim a hood and then you want to claim a different hood. Stories and forties is brought to you by... Paco Emero, fool. <laughs> Puro pedo. Anyhow, for those of you who don't know, I'm going to let you know, homeboy, homegirl. It ain't wise to be jumping round flies. When I said jumping round flats, it's like, you get torcido, you get busted, you go to LA County, um, you're gonna be approached. If you feel comfortable running with the whites, you claim white. If you're from a neighborhood that is uh, crib blood, you run with the blacks. If you are a paisano, uh, you speak Spanish, then you run with the paisas. If you are uh, an American, homie, you know, Chicano, Pocho, but you're not from a hood. You a resident. You run with the double S. Then again, I see a lot, a lot of paisas, allegedly paisas, you know, that, that look like Southsiders claiming paisa. I see a lot of homies claiming paisa. That's what I'm trying to say. You know, because back in the days when I started doing time, a paisa was a paisa. Didn't speak English. 
Straight Mexicano, like my dad, my mama. You know what I'm saying? You know, I guess they don't want to deal with certain politics or whatever, whatnot, which I'm not here to talk about politics. Just so you know, if you're right here, homie, we keep it solid, dog. I talk about certain things, but I know my limit. I know, and I respect my boundaries. Okay, no? Let me tell you, man, a little story. Being in uh, the L.A. County Jail, we're talking about Cass State, California, uh, East Max, to be precise. Okay, this is 2000. Five, 2005, I believe. You know, another day, program time, early morning, hit the grill, you know the deal, breakfast, meal, get your phone, get your routine, get your day going and shit. Arrivals pull up. Ah, chingao. Woo! Damn, okay. You a homie, you a homie. Hey, Kylie, woo. All right, cool. The day goes by and uh, get approached by, by the blacks. Blacks, we call cribs or bloods. It's all good. Shout out to all my cribs, all my bloods out there, man. Salute. We you know one of them approach one of the homies, whatever. We'll, we'll check this out. There's this individual right here. I don't know how it happened, how they found out or what. But all I know is that they approached a homie that was responsible of the dorm and told him, like, hey, this, this dude is over here. Uh, claiming to be one of us but uh, for some reason they knew that he had uh, a different past he was from my SA neighborhood like I said I don't like to speak on this and that other barrios and organizations because like I said I know my boundaries and I respect them uh, so <clears throat> uh, the black told the homie check this out we know he's from my SA neighborhood and he's over here now trying to claim to be one of us but since we know that He's a, an original member of an essay hood. Uh, go ahead. He's all yours. Ooh, wait. That motherfucker got thrown into the dog pit. Right away, you see the shark circling the motherfucking tank. Like, ooh. Right away, man. You know, that's one thing, man. We Everything's cool and peaceful when program's going, but motherfuckers smell blood. Man, you, you, you get torpedoes to come out of nowhere. Oh, I don't know if it's... Because it's a stressed out environment, everybody fighting life or by fighting big amount of time. It's like they just want to get the como se llamas on the motherfucker beep, beep, beep. and get their anger out. Like hell yeah, man, I'm gonna put this fool, put him asleep. Buenas, buenas no cheers. You know what I'm saying? Buenas nachos. <laughs> oh, you claim a hood, a set, a barrio, whatever. You stick to that, homeboy. Stick to the script. Don't go be around all one day. Okay, today I woke up feeling like a wood. Today I woke up feeling like a motherfucking Southsider. <laughs> today I feel like a paisa because they got the burritos today. <laughs> they got food, I'ma go over there. Hell, no, 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 no. Come on, man. Just keep it, keep it gangster, man. Stick to what you believe in. Stick to the original plan. And don't go around jumping around, different round flies, cause that's gonna get you caught up. For real. Hey. For real, homie. Serio. Serio beef. Serio fart. Hey. That's the pay out. Motherfucking sharks are smelling blood. You know what I'm saying? And uh se puso al rojo beat boat. Oh motherfuckers are over here oh, interrogating, speculating, uh contemplating and yeah. Next thing you know, you got the torpedoes and guess what? Oh man. Yeah, back then I was young, dumb. Y pues, yeah, yeah. Man, let me tell you something, man. I got one in, man. Boom! This fool had a hardest head I ever fucking hit in my life, dog. <laughs> man, I went like, oh shit, damn, this fool's fucking head, damn. That shit was like a fucking wall, camarada. My shit was like throbbing, like hurting, like eat. But anyways, he had a few homies on him. Okay, sorry about that, man. I got too excited, man. See, see, like a Vietnam veteran, homie, get into the shit. <laughs> Long story short, man, the vato gets left on the floor. Almost left for dead, man. Shit, I thought he was gone, like, equally on <laughs> Here come the hoodas on your bunks, on your bunks, get down, get down. Everybody on their bunks. Around that time, they had barely put on cameras, knees, man. 
And these fucking cameras are good, man. They could zoom in to your wristband, know your name, your everything. There we are in our bunks. They come in. They got a bunch of papers. They got photocopies of our faces, of whatever, whoever was caught doing whatever, what they will boo. So they came up to your bunk. Boom. You get up. You get out. Boom. They cuff you up. Vamanos. There goes Manny the Jaguar man to the oh yo to the how how <laughs> you want to be a cholo motherfucker hey there's consequences at the time i'm fighting uh three attempted murders i was there like i said fighting my case and at the time i picked up another case so i almost went four years fighting these two cases once again i gotta be thankful to the man up above to give me another chance to come out here anyhow so let's get back to the story speed suck so back then you go to east max they had like shit, a tier with maybe 10 to 13 holding cells. You were there for like two to three days. You see the sergeant, and then from there, you get transferred to Superman, where they had the uh, the hole, the hole, you know what I'm saying? The, it gets temporary hole where you do your time. There we are. I get sold up with one of the homies. We're chopping it up, and I'm like, damn, like, fuck it. We all know, you know, sometimes, you know, after shit gets done, we don't talk about it. Just something that the homies do. No matter what, what type of participation, if you had more or less, hey, you don't talk about it. Fuck it. It is what it is. We're here. And what was very disappointing is that we got hit. They, they, they were pressing charges. A battery at that. Assault and battery. Yup. So here we go. It wasn't official yet. It's, I guess, police report right oh i'm there i guess one or two days uh i go to court and it gets postponed and i come back and um remember the deputy saying hey uh alvarez go to the cell get your property you're getting transferred i'm like huh what you mean transfer and i didn't see my Sally, so i was like hey where's everybody at i'll all remember the deputy saying hey man it's your lucky day uh the charges have been dropped the victim went home that's it i'm like what oh hell yeah say no more on board shit got my fucking two or three trapitos man i don't even know if i had shit <laughs> and yeah i went back to a different dorm basically that was it start all over you go into a new dorm different program different people introduce yourself to different fellas and you let them know pretty much what happened with the woo 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 and you move on and it's like fuck nobody cares <laughs> it's the truth shit it's not like they're gonna be like oh yeah oh wow people are like i said man you're around a bunch of fucking criminals bunch of killers bunch of killers everybody fighting a murder so it's like violence is nothing you know okay all right yeah what's up homie yeah okay. you want to eat or you, what you need okay yeah, rato, homie. Hey, mucho gusto, okay that's it. A motherfucker that never been around that, uh, he's gonna be there like, man, let me get some popcorn, help. Radio? Okay. But, so that was it. That's the story of individual being from a South Side hood, going to the county jail and trying to run with the blacks. The blacks were like, hey, man, this fool's over here trying to play us now. Get that motherfucker to the sharks. And hey, that's one violation you don't do in the L.A. County Jail. You don't jump around flies. You don't go around claiming different parties. No. That's a no, no. Another thing you don't do is steal. But hey, I'll leave that story for the next time. With that said, homie, I hope you guys enjoy. Stories and 40s is a segment. Camarada. Uh, don't forget to subscribe like share and comment if you like if not hey i ain't tripping homeboy it's all good dog shit but just know that you missing out and your homie missing your homegirl missing out when that's all dicho turn that frown upside down much love and respect my name is manny i'm the jaguar man you guys have a good day Arato.